The Reds today have activated, or we shouldn't say activated, called up from a AAA Louisville, Nick Senzel, Kurt Casale, in the midst of a veteran first baseman, Joey Votto, once again, having some shoulder discomfort. Uh, we're seeing Ramos be sent down here as well. And you, you gotta be, you gotta be concerned about Votto. Uh, the guy comes back from a shoulder injury and he comes, you know, plays for a couple months and bats about 200. And the power was there. What was the power there? He was playing, he was impressive from that dynamic. He brought the power dynamic to this baseball team, but you wonder, you, you wonder if you're going to see him play, you know, when you see stuff like this at this point in time in his career. And it's concerning. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he does. And hopefully he comes back. We'll see. Uh, nonetheless, Nick Senzel, that, that's going to be a polarizing decision by this front office. We brought Senzel instead of Jose Barrero up. Um, but both of which, honestly, you look and say second chances. I think both of these guys are looking for a second chance. You brought Barrero up, thought he was going to be the next. Remember when Barrero was the next big thing for this team? Forget about all these prospects. Forget about all these rookies on a team. Now it was all about Jose Barrero. He didn't come through. He didn't really get a chance, if I recall properly, to play every day when he first came through. We think, okay, let's send him to AAA. Oh, let's bring him back up. Maybe he's got a chance to work on things. Maybe he took that as a wake-up call. Nick Senzel very well could have did the same thing. Nick Senzel was talking about not getting enough playing time. He was struggling on the field. He was he was great against the lefties, but he was struggling everywhere else. Maybe that was a wake-up call for Nick Senzel. Again, I do, speaking of Barrero, well, Senzel was it the year, two years before that. Senzel was the guy. Senzel was this Reds top prospect. Senzel was this top uh, draft pick and said, hey, this is going to be our guy. It's going to be a third baseman for a while. Let's try him at center field. Let, let's try him somewhere. Got to find a spot for this kind of team. And it did look like he had that promise. And it does look like, you know, he's still a guy you want to believe in that can come up here and figure things out at a high level. He has been in the league for a while now, which makes it more of a concern. But nonetheless, you bring up Sinzel. Let's say he still struggles in Sorites, whatever. I mean, at least as much as, you know, we don't like to see the David Bell lefty lineup out there. At least we put Sinzel in a lineup against the lefties and he does bat really well against, what is it, 280? That's really well against them. That's an asset to this team. That's a little bit more flexibility for this team, especially off the bench. So all things considered, hopefully Joey Votto can figure things out here, get healthy, come back and make an impact on this team. Until then, Nick Senzel. Well, Nick, Nick Senzel going to make an impact? Nick Senzel going to wake up from this one? Uh, Reds choosing to go three catchers again, by the way. I, I haven't really agreed with that all season. I, I guess it just... It, no, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I was going to say, I guess it depends on the lineup and who's thrown out there. Navy Bell wants to play the matchups, but as a, as a catcher, typically they're not batting the best in the first place. And typically, even if they are a little bit better versus one and the other, you know, we went over this, the overall player thing. It does provide a little flexibility, though, if you want to put Stevenson at DH and you need a backup catcher. I do get that. So we'll see. Now that Votto is on the IL, it does make a little bit of sense there to say, okay, we have that room because, you know, Votto is going to take up a lot of DH spots. Somebody, uh, you know, your veteran player, if he could. So maybe Stevenson gets more spots at DH. Stevenson can be a guy that gets back on track as well here. And then you have your two catchers to work with from that standpoint. We'll see. Love you guys' thoughts. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.